DZT number six. Welcome to Drunk Zombie Talk. If you guys don't know, check us out, like us, subscribe, and uh, we're just gonna get into it. I am Rabbit. This is Skittles. And as always, DJ Chocolate Thunder. And we are gonna do some drinking tonight, and we're gonna talk about some zombies like we always do. And we're gonna throw it over to DJ and talk about our drink of the week. Well, tonight we're drinking a really simple, cheap, poor man's drink called uh, Jack and Ginger. Basically just whiskey, ginger ale, and you're supposed to have a fresh lime, but we ain't about to do all that, so we just got lime juice. We would it, it works just as well. Like I said, uh, I said, but what would you say? Would you say two parts? Uh, yeah, about uh, two parts uh, whiskey, one part uh, ginger ale, and then just garnish it with a lime. I mean, it's really simple to make, and it, and it really... It, it really, it really just tastes like ginger ale. Really. Yeah, it, it, it co the ginger covers it so well, and also just a little tidbit there, you know me and my tidbits. Uh, ginger ale also like anything with ginger actually is a, a supposed cure for hangovers. Hmm. Like if you eat something with ginger, like ginger cookies or ginger root or whatever, anything with ginger, it is. Possibly a cure for hangover, but I mean, I lost a little that one. Uh, anything people say is a cure for hangovers. But. All right, and before we get into these questions, I just want to let everybody know out there, uh, my man Rice was supposed to come on the show. Uh, if you if you remember the first episode or the second episode we did, we had the two. Yeah, we had the CockerKiari.org on there, just showing support for him. Uh, He's in fine. Yeah, he he's doing good. Just uh, getting over a lot of uh, a, a lot of pain, the you know, like post surgery pain. But uh, uh, he said all his Chiari was gone, so that's really good. Uh, shout out to him. Hope he gets better, and he will be on the show soon. He was supposed to be on the show tonight, but he's in a lot of pain, like I said, so he couldn't get on him. And uh, also another thing I want to say is uh, I'm not appreciating the lack of comments and votes on the page. Like y'all doing a great job, but. Like I said, get your friends involved, man. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be more of comments. I, we, we want comments. We, we want people to talk about this. I mean, we're doing this pretty much for y'all. And, you know, we're doing this out of fun. We want something back. I mean, we want some feedback. Some kind of entertainment. Like, But uh, like you said, uh, saying that, we're going to go ahead and get into our uh, first poll question. We actually had two uh, relating to The Walking Dead. Well, not directly relating to The Walking Dead, but we have two up there today. Uh, go ahead and read them off, man. Okay, well, first we're going to do uh, the, the Walking Dead poll that we threw up there. And it was, uh, what was your zombie kill of the week in the newest episode of The Walking Dead? And we categorized it in four that we thought was pretty legit. I, I, I think I would have had one more, but th we'll get to that in a minute. All right, it'll be the the Merle stump kill, the first one, the first one in the fog or in the uh, in the smoke. It, the, it, the when, the when they when they were fighting and like all of a sudden uh, right through the smoke bombs and and stuff. I right, uh, we only got one vote on that one. Uh, I voted uh, for that one. I voted. Did for you that did one, you yeah. vote for that one? I just thought it was badass because what, he what, fucking. What do you think about that? One? Because he just like tripped him and. Bah! Yeah, with the stump, I just thought it was badass. Too. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I'd go with the uh, Glenn. No, no, I mean, the, the, we're talking about that one. Uh, that. Oh. Um, I don't know. I thought I, I thought I thought the first one was whenever he just shoved that knife into the... No, that was that was the episode before. No, we're talking about uh, the, the, the very episode. beginning episode of the, of the whole new series. Yeah. yeah. That's what we talking about. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're talking about like that when he was fighting the when he was fighting Daryl. The very beginning, the very first episode of the. When they were doing the death match. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I you don't. Know. You don't remember that part. Not really. Okay, we're just gonna yeah. shut you off right there. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I like that uh, that first blunt kill. It was pretty good. I think he could have just went more violent with it, you know. He, well, he, he was. Seemed, he, he seemed. He seemed. See, see now we are. Now we get. Now we get into our Walking Dead segment. So let's go ahead and continue. Well, with I the mean, the, okay. It goes. In, it goes into the second one. The second one is the Merle Stump kill number two. After they go beyond the gates, when they break through, yeah. like okay, we got one vote on that one. Don't know who it was. They didn't comment. So 
going to yeah. throw it over to you. What do you think about that one when they Pretty, break through? It, it was just it was just there. It was just there. It was just there. He just runs yeah. out and fucking hits him, and then no, 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 he, and then was, no he wasn't. He was sitting there a little out of bear. Yeah, he was beating the fuck it was, out of him. It was just him. there after the first one. He'd already done it. What do you think, man? I agree with him. Like it, it didn't really have any. Yeah, any it was just, it was just me. there. I thought it was funny. Uh, I thought I thought it was funny how the camera angle shot it. It was just like they came through, and then you just you see Rick just sitting there like pissed off, like damn it, I want to take this motherfucker with us, and then he comes through with everybody else, and then you just see him just boof, boof, a little help here, and then boof, boof, and then they start shooting at zombies, and then he's like, we don't have time for this. And then they all take off, following him. I kind of, I kind of like the second kill a little bit. All right, and the um, third one was Glenn carjacks and proceeds to a town stomp the zombie's face. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, was, that was pretty badass. But not, I like that. One. That yeah. one was yeah. awesome. Uh, that was a uh, that was some little <laughs> bit of anger taken yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mad at Rick. A little bit of. What, like, what do you what do you think? Just like I said, it was just a good scene. Uh, it, it I think it really showed like how like how much Bill or how much Glenn has changed throughout the season. Like before, he wouldn't have yeah, said boy. shit, but now he's like in Rick's face. Like yes, fuck, he's like yes. fuck that. He was like, we yeah. do not need this motherfucker with us. And he's also, and it also was like, he was kind of being like a little bitch too about Maggie. Like, I can understand, but she didn't get penetrated. So, like, quit being a little bitch, like Kevin Hart But he say. didn't, he didn't know. He didn't know. So he, he, he told, she told him that nothing but happened. still, it's, it, that's his woman. And, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of understand, but still, like, in the zombie apocalypse, like, you ain't got room to be a bitch. Like, stop being such a bitch. Well, Even though she really kind of gave him a reason to live instead of just being zombie bait anymore so i mean I hey walker bait yeah i see where he's coming from on that one now yeah true that but like i'm saying what do you think about that did you he just he just that was my favorite one that, that's um, yeah that was that my was favorite just, one i'm sorry it, to just like you don't see many of those like i mean that's uh, very merle's true. merle's was pretty good but he had a metal he had a metal fist thing on See, for it them was, just, he had a severed arm, though. I mean, but like, he but he got metal, a piece he, of metal attached to that it that he made himself. I, I agree, but he he he's got a piece of metal. All he did was pull him out and just use his boot or his shoe. All he had on was a shoe and just stomped his head into the ground. What's the difference? I mean, the stomp and and the, and the, well, and the I, kind of couldn't feel anything, but, okay, but, but anyway, I, I, I like I like the curb stomp. I like the curb stomp a lot. It was it was a uh, it was a uh, pretty good. Uh, it it made Glenn why like, it made out to where Glenn was actually fucking stronger than he used to be like I, yeah like what you said he he's he just take he like, everything doesn't scare him anymore like he he has no more scares the only scare he has is humans and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go on to the last one and the, the last one is the governor's heartless <laughs> pre zombie kill. Yeah, it was a pre zombie yeah, kill. Yeah, it was a pre zombie kill. We got one vote on that one. Nobody commented, of course. Yeah. Which, I'm going to keep on saying that because nobody comments on anything and we want comments. We want we want feedback, people. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, uh, like I said, uh, that's what real women we, do. We, 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 we already know that governor's a fucking psychopath, so there ain't really much to say about that yeah. kill. So I, I I wouldn't expect anything less than that. I like how he did it though. And he just he was probably in his office and, and you know after yeah he was he looking was, out the window watching watching Andrew hyping yeah, up. Yeah, he's he's probably doing those lines on the notebook again, and then he started <laughs> screams and then looked out and just went out. I'll take care of this. And then went back. I mean, because he couldn't pet his uh, he couldn't pet his little uh, penny anymore. Yep. You know. Brush your hair. Like I said, let's save that for the last segment. So let's go ahead and get into the next question. Okay, the next poll was: uh, if your leader, uh, if the leader of your group were to lose his mind, what would you do? Okay, and uh, the first one is kill him and take the group. We had one vote on that one. Um, oh, what'd you do? Um, no comment. 
I, I put, oh, I actually chose the second one, which was uh, if you read them all through. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and read them out loud. Okay, okay. I'll just read the whole. I'll just read the whole thing through. Okay, the first one was kill them and take over the group. The second one was leave the group and go on your own. Third one was sedate them and try to talk some sense to them. Fourth one was stand silently and see how it plays out. Fifth one was follow them anyways, and the sixth one was bake them a cake. <laughs> And put get well on it. Yeah, like I said, uh, I voted for the second one, which was uh, lead a group and ride on my own because uh, I ain't about to listen to a crazy motherfucker. And if he flexes on me, then we gonna have some problems. So I just go out on my own. Like I said, uh, that's that's basically it. Would you I think I'd, I would uh, sedate him and try and talk some sense into him because uh, if he's the actual leader of the group. People are more likely to listen to him rather than anyone else, and if he starts going crazy, people are still going to tend to listen to him, even though they realize that he's not all there. So I feel that it would be my duty to sedate him and try and talk some sense into him. That way we can tr at least try and get some kind of leadership back. Uh, personally, I would uh, just kind of see how it goes. I would... I would uh do that sand silently and see how it plays out kind of thing because you know he might start shooting people but I'll be fully armed too so I'd You'd go the shoot devil back out. I mean I, would, I would, if, if that came to that I mean I'd be protecting everybody else but uh, we had some comments on it and um, the first one was kill him take over the group and the comment was put a bullet in his pull a bullet in his skull and take and take over. Jacob, I love your style. I'm just gonna shout out to you, man. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, but you know, I hope you have some good leader leadership going on in yeah, here. Good leadership abilities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I mean No, he got he got bishop tendency, so <laughs> Uh oh, that's an automatic. He's got the B D. That's automatic. Yeah, yeah, he's got the B D. Uh, talk to your mistress before you do that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Chris and Doug, uh, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know who she is. I don't know who you are but either. It, but it, but that's thumbs up. Appreciate it. Yeah, I like. Uh, I mean, Kudos. I like how you're uh, commenting on it. And the the pistol whip them and tape them to a chair. That's a very good idea. <laughs> very good. That's that's uh, that's going in with the the you know sedatum and just see how it plans out. I like that idea. Very much so. I mean, uh, I would do that rather than try to take over. Uh, that's kind of a taking over kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I, I would probably, I would, maybe. It'd be more of a maybe side. Like, uh, I would try to do that if I trusted the guy enough. And let's see. Uh, <laughs> Amber. Hey. I think we'd all love your cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> and especially if you put get well on it. <laughs> yeah. DCT get well. We'd love it. <laughs> yeah, you mean the biggest cupcakes. And we can put them Just on the Just shout out there. Maybe make them sugar free. Yeah. I don't do sweets. So. And chocolate. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's, that's it. Um, there was no more other comments except for... Uh, Matt, Maddie. Maddie. But shout out to Maddie too. We love Maddie. <laughs> Maddie, we love you. Nothing! Super freak! Okay, that was just straight for you, Maddie. And uh, I guess we're going to get into our topic tonight uh, human versus human. Um, Probably one of the most dangerous situations. Very, 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 yeah. very dangerous. Okay, okay uh, let's say. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you right now. I'm going to say. What if you had the governor set up, mm -hmm. and you were the governor, okay. how would you take if Rick came in? Or actually, better yet, how would you take it if you found somebody like Glenn come in? Like, just stumbled across the place, looking for supplies. I wouldn't have did it how he did it. Of course not, because I'm not a fucking psychopath. I mean, I am. But that's but completely uh, off the show. I, like, I, I am, but I'm, I'm not at the same time. I mean, 
I wouldn't have, like, strapped into a chair and, like, tried to fucking rape his girlfriend up the ass and all that bullshit. Like, no, 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 I'm not trying to... You, you talking about... You, you capture him. I'm saying if they stumbled, up, uh, stumbled upon your colony looking for supplies... Oh. Yeah, if they just... Then I would have told them to drop their clips and drop their weapons and I would have brought them in. You know? But I'm not really sure, uh... You know, I'd, I'd, I'd have to fig- I'd have to figure out where they were from and like and what they were doing and shit. Do the interrogating thing, huh? Not not so much as interrogating. I mean, I would I would just I would ask them. It's, it's for the it's for yeah, the, the community. I mean, I mean, yeah, like because you don't know they can be scouts for you know somebody else. You know sure. what I'm saying? But at the same time, I mean, I ain't about to give up. I ain't about to give a motherfucking no supplies. Like I would have put five bullets in his gun and told him to go about his business. <laughs> but I mean. Nice. They're, they're, Say they're looking for specific supplies, like uh, supplies like for a baby. What would you do then? Hmm. Now I'm throwing hey, it at it. Throwing him a curveball there. I'm throwing him at it. Oh, um, no, that's a curveball mixed with a fire. <laughs> if they were looking for baby supplies, you know, I might help them out. Like I said, uh, you can't really. You can't, you, 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 you can't you can't really get you, you can't really say what you would or wouldn't do because in that situation you never know like I said uh, what would you do Skittles? I'd do the same thing man I'd, if I was in the governor's position I'd do it for the good of the colony community make sure so you'd go okay. psycho with it? no I wouldn't go psycho but I would definitely make sure that they're okay and that they're not trying to come in here and raid or Make sure that they're not going to go back to somebody else like, well, I mean, like guys that the governor had. Yeah. You know, I'm going to make sure that they're not going to do what I do to other people. Right, right, right. But another thing about it is, if, if like, when he brought him in, he knew him. Like, he, Merle told like, I knew these dudes. Like, I know, I know them. Like, I know that dude. So that will play into it, too, you'd have to think. With the interrogation. Well, yeah. I mean, but, like, I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't. Like that was un unnecessary. Like I'm pretty unnecessary sure unnecessary roughness. Un- unnecessary roughness. Yeah. yeah. Throw the flag on. <laughs> we just threw the flag on you, Governor. Yeah. <laughs> we, we we love you that you psycho, but we threw the flag on you. I thought it would be on Merle. Or was it the good the governor's call? Yeah. He don't do shit without the governor's call. Sorry, yeah. 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 no one football. does. I mean, my favorite team is the referees. And but go football. ahead, uh, go ahead. <laughs> what would you do, Brad? Yeah, uh, right. what I would do is right. I would I would kind of take it into Rick's perspective and uh, you know bring him in, but sedate him in a, in a I mean not sedate him but uh, segregate him in a, like a, a certain like like a apartment or something. Quit, shut up. <laughs> Put him I'm in sorry. an apartment or something and just, just like you know just like find it like just go in there talk to him one on one. Basically how they did basically how they did Michonne and Andrea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not really yeah. taking prisoners, but show them that we've got back uh, we got backbone and we we won't take shit. Yeah. I, I would I would prefer that and uh, you know come out a clean guy, not like the governor himself and that guy that guy was kind of. Wax off. Yeah, but like, yeah. like go, going into the whole overview of what we're talking about, like, if it happens, I, I, then that... If we go into the baby food thing, yeah, like, that's what I'd be, I'd be interrogating him about it, and then, and then I would give him, I, I would talk to him about it and, and see, you know, other things. I, but regardless I think, of the situation, you always have to take precautions. Always, I don't care who always, it is. Always, I don't care if it's a 12-year-old boy. You okay. always take precautions. Just okay. like, just like the fucking book of Eli. Whenever he, whenever yes. he walks by and like the bitch is like crying by the cart with all the supplies. That is yes. what I was wanting yeah. to get into. Yes, and yeah, like, like, it's a trap. It, it, it is a trap. And he knew it actually. It's like Joan Jeezy, it's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I'm saying, uh, in the zombie apocalypse, that is the most, the the most heinous thing you got to worry about is other people. I mean. You gotta be well, careful. once once you discover what type of zombies they are, you can you can plan accordingly. But humans, you can never be you can never be sure of their intentions. You know, you got ones that, and 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 that goes back to even like today. Like you got people, friends, family, people that you hang around with that yeah. that put on a, a nice front, like they're your friends. But 
but then they'll do you bad. You oh, yeah, yeah. So, you, you just got to eat. But it's, it, it, and, it's, and it'll be so much worse, like, in that situation. Like, that's all definitely, we, definitely. That, that's all we was getting into with the whole human on human kind of thing. Well, uh, okay, well, going to that point, uh, uh, what, okay, I'm going to throw this one out here, this situation, and you know, we're talking off of Walking Dead, and say, uh, what if you and your best friend started a, a little, you know, group per se, and you mm -hmm. found a safe haven, like maybe a bunker or something, and you had about five other people, how would you control that? My safe haven? Uh, perimeter first. Make sure everything around me was safe. Uh, you know? And then, you know, it depended on the area, like what I knew about the area, you know, you gotta go out and scout and all that shit. But basically, if it was safe, like actual safe, like you know my philosophy, no yeah. safe haven is safe forever. Right. So I'm always going to have a backup plan. I'm going to throw this one on you. What if another group stumbles upon? What would you do? It depends on how they was acting. Are you just going to go off their appearance? E e or, no. Or even gonna... even in the zombie apocalypse, like like with you already know, you know me really well. Like with me, it's all about respect. Like if you disrespect me, like first impression, if you disrespect me, then. I'm then so you don't gonna, ask him for sugar. Then, then we ain't gonna get along. <laughs> <laughs> then we ain't gonna get along. Like, and and if you, you know, if you courteous and you, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. Then, then, then you, then you know, I'm gonna give you a little bit more leeway. But in that situation, of course, you're gonna be always more cautious. But uh, it depends on how they came at me. Like I said. Uh, well, like, like I'm saying, it's just like if you have a bunker and then, you know, you have a couple scouts go out, like you see some people coming in, and they you. You know, they're just other people. What would you do? Like, how would how would you? If like, I was out scouting, if, if your scouts brought them back, what would you do? Kind of thing. Actually, that would be better. It'd be more. If it, that one would be more of the like what the governor did to, like I said, what the governor did to Bashan yeah, and Andrew. Like, I take sure. their weapons away definitely, and I'd let mm -hmm. them know, like, hey, I'm taking your weapons. I'm not going. You ain't a prisoner here, but. I need to know what the fuck you doing. At. Like, what, what what are you coming to me for? You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like, like I said, with other people, you got to be cautious because you never really know their true intentions. But like I'm saying, uh, it's all about protecting the group, man. Protecting the people that you with and the people that right. you care about. Yeah, because fantastic. like, especially in that situation, like, if zombies were to happen and we were to all click up, like, we are the good friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. and that's just like a zombie apocalypse. No matter if it's like fucking total strangers. It's, gonna do nothing but bring you closer together right, right so and it right. becomes like a family because you know the family that you knew before was dead and everything else is gone so that's that is your fucking family oh me is Whoa. dead and gone and, uh, dead and gone okay well all right yeah, Glenn hey, uh, even talks about everybody that none of them were related except for rick and his wife and carl but they claim themselves family. It, well, I understand. That's what I'm saying. Like eventually, but they just called speaking themselves. Speaking of family, I've got family. a I've got a question to ask you. Okay, say you were uh, say you you found your safe haven. Okay, and uh, you had a group. Uh, you were protecting your family, and then you had another group trying to come and take over your safe haven. Like if you just say it was in the middle of the woods, like your house, you know, surrounded by trees. And you're just sitting there protecting you and your own. Mm -hmm. How would you uh, how would you do wait, with somebody coming in there and saying like, "Hey, we're just passing by. Like, we need some help," and then try to take over? Kill him. What would you do? Kill him. <laughs> I mean, plain simple, kill him. Vicious. Uh, hey, man, it's there. There, it, it, if that safe haven, that safe Left. haven has became my mm -hmm. new home. Left. They're invading my home. And they're trying to take it from me. If they if they want to, you know, if they need help, I'll help them. But if they just want to just come in and try and take what's mine, I'll kill them. It's plain and simple. I'll yeah, care. Yeah. All right. Bitches, what, 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 basically, which is basically what The Walking Dead did, well, which is why this whole war is going on, which is why we're going to talk about it. Uh, oh, we want to talk about the war now. Last episode was pretty. Oh, oh, is, we already talked about the war, didn't we? Oh yeah. The war's still going on, nigga. It ain't done yet. Yeah. It ain't done yet. Folks. So you're still with the you, you come up and everything. You got the last. Kind of curious on the war. 
You got the last episode. Between, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, the war. Talk about between, between, between Rick, the prison. Rick, Rick Rupin, the governor. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay, okay. We got to add in the factor of Tyrese. Tyrese is my favorite factor that I want to add in. That guy is going to be the anchor. I swear, his group, him and, and uh, what's her name, Sasha? Sasha. Oh, my they're, God. They, dude, those guys are going to be the anchor. They're going to be the one to swoop in and just be like, Heard your motherfuckers need help. Bam! <laughs> oh, I wouldn't put I it. Know, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it like that. Okay, I mean, we're going into our five-minute Walking Dead session right now. All right, my critique: ten, hands down, for the season premiere. One, because we've been waiting so damn long. <laughs> second, because second, because it it was it it, it kind of it went it was really coherent with the last like where the last one left off with. Uh, Daryl and Merle. I was disappointed to see him leave, but we all yes. know, like I put on the site, we all know that Daryl's too important to like disappear. Blood is thicker than water. He's coming back, whether with yes. whether with Merle or without. He's he, coming he, back. He's kind of. My right. two predictions right now is like he either they're gonna go back to the government, even though he's a dick. Merle's gonna take him back, and that was just my shitty version of it. You know, like, he's going to come back and be like, uh, take care of us kind of thing. But the second one is, Merle and Daryl are going to go off, and they're going to go do their own thing, and then when the war starts, they're going to rush, or he's going to rush to it. Merle's just, he's going to just, just ban him right there, and then run back. Just but to what, save, just what to if, save but, Carol. But what if, what if they throw it off, like, what if, what if Merle had, like, actually died soon, like, that would be great. That, Just to throw it in there. That would be great. Ah, do, you sorry, think they, do you think they would do that? I don't that? like it. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean... I like Merle, though. I, I, I do. I, I, fuck, like, I, I, I like, like Merle, Merle. But, like... That dude's a hard ass. Anybody that can Darryl. chop his hand off after being handcuffed on a roof with zombies coming after him, even though they weren't technically coming after him, and even then they solderize it, anyway. and then make a blunt object out of his hand, that is fucking bitching. It is, and uh, like like I said, uh, we'll just like uh, it was a good setup. Basically, I look at that episode as a setup episode, kind of like it, this is it, how the next couple it, of episodes are gonna go. It popped off to the to let your mind wander. Of what's yeah, gonna happen exactly. Next. Right. And it, it did, which, which is what it they did. always do. Yeah, it's the finales and mid season things. Well, they improved off the second season. Oh, the yeah. second season was more of like, oh shit, and then. Oh shit! It didn't really work out like. Oh, oh well, damn it! I could predict this one. I don't. I don't like, know about well, that. I was looking for the girl thing. I kind of was like, you know, like. What I already the hell know they she doing? was dead. Yeah, I mean, what the hell are they doing? Like, I mean, we all knew she was dead. Yeah, we all knew she was. Dead. That's season two. We don't see. Well, one. but yeah, but I mean, that's just a foresh. Oh, it's a foreshadowing event. Like the foreshadowing right now. Daryl and Murrow getting together, and Murrow being the dominant one. It's not I mean, gonna happen. At that, how, how long do you think? How long do you think it's gonna be for you know him to slap him around and just like them break up eventually? I'm telling you, dude. Like all the characters have changed so much, especially Daryl. Like he ain't gonna put up with that yeah. shit. Like he ain't gonna let him. Oh, no, he kind of he kind of put up Rick, with it. Rick kind of no, gave he, him the feeling. He, he, he was no, the he, one that knocked him out in the, he, in, the, in the episode. He 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 put up he with it. He was like, "Calm down, bro." He put up with <laughs> he put up with it because he hasn't seen his brother in so fucking long. Okay. Like, he still it, treat him it, like a you still treat Merle, him like an older brother though. Yeah, I mean, of course, but like it's even with me. Like my brother, my, my older brother used to tr beat up on me and shit, and so I start fighting back. You know what I'm saying? And now we and now we cool. But like I'm saying, in that situation, like I, I don't. Are you still treating him like a little bit? Okay, well he did treat him like a little bit. What but I'm saying, you? like he ain't gonna put up with it because we all know that Daryl would probably whoop the shit out of Merle. Yeah, especially with that cross. Well, what yeah. I'm saying is that like Merle uh, always told Daryl what to do. Yeah, exactly. Well, that no, now listen. Listen, so Darryl's basically, listen. Even though he's in a group, he's basically been doing his own thing since he has. But. Rick is still his leader, but Rick gave him the ability to just Rick, I'm him, I, when I need you. You know what I, I honestly think? I honestly think him and Rick's bond is stronger than him and Merle. I, oh, I, I honestly think that. It. It yes, it, it. it seems it, like it, don't it? Because like 
Because he's like Rick's right hand fucking man. Like he is yeah. everything that he wished Shane could have been. Well, hell, what what they do? Basically, I ain't gonna get into that. That was a whole different segment. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna talk about Shane. And uh, you know, you we're just gonna, we're gonna I'm wrap it up Shane. here. I mean, we got done <laughs> just just shouting off and everything. Okay, look for our next polls this Tuesday. When we post them up, we're gonna do another Walking Dead poll, and we're gonna do yep. a new DZT poll. We can't wait to see this tonight. It's gonna be an awesome episode. I yep. can't wait to see what happens because of the whole disbandment uh, and and Rick going crazy. I mean, that's what yeah. this is gonna be. Just a, that was like totally shit. unexpected. Yeah. Well, kind of, kind of halfway. But <laughs> if you read the comics, halfway. But. Very, very. Like if you read the comics, read the comics, but. Check out the show. It's awesome. Yeah. Okay. And uh, also, uh, support my buddy Ryan, uh, Rice Man, ConquerKiara.com, right here. And then uh, just go ahead and subscribe us yep. and like us on Facebook. And then subscribe us on YouTube. I mean, we, we'd like some comments. I don't, it, it'd, it'd be more preferred if you comment on Facebook. Comments. We're going to do the comments. 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 If and you can you, read that. And then you can go ahead and do the subscribe you're side. Doing good. Do the subscribe side. Subscribe. Okay, well, the subscribe right there. <laughs> <laughs> All Thank right. you. We love you guys. Peace. And I'm signing out. I am Rabbit. I'm Skittles. Go Michigan. DJ Chocolate Thunder. Coming to Plunder. Oh, I have to add this. For those of you that watched the, my uh, last episode that I was in, um, I'm drinking beer this time, even though it's empty. All right, Thanks. Tom. We'll see y'all next week.